Thank you, Senator Coons. I'd, and I'd like to, to go back briefly to Mr. Mayor. In your written testimony, uh, you said that the science behind climate change and its effect on minority communities, quote, should not be up for debate. I'm curious, is, is the Sierra Club, is, is this a frequent practice to declare areas of science not up for debate, not up for consideration of what the evidence and data show? If you're right. If you are relying on the evidence and data, data, you know, the science, the preponderance of the evidence are there. But, 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 but that's a different thing than saying we should not debate a question, that the Sierra Club has, has declared this scientific issue resolved and there should be no debate. Based upon the preponderance of the evidence, the science is settled, but the thing is, is that anything is up for de debate, Senator. We can debate anything. Well, you know, I would note that the, even the phrase preponderance of the ev evidence, having been a practicing lawyer for many years, means 51 percent. That means 49, at least 51 percent is what the preponderance means. Uh, you know, I would ask, for example, if you want to end debate, you don't want to address the facts, uh, how do you address the fact that in the last 18 years the satellite data show no demonstrable warming whatsoever? Sir, I would rely upon the Union of Concerned Scientists and I would rely upon the evidence, in, uh, again, from our own NOAA officials. Uh, the data are there. Uh, is it correct that the satellite data over the last 18 years demonstrate no significant warming? No. How is it incorrect? Based upon our experts, it's been refuted long ago, and there's no long, it's not up for a scientific debate. Uh, I'm curious if, so, so it's, it's I, I want to understand this. I do find it highly interesting that the president of the Sierra Club, when, when asked what the satellite data demonstrate about warming, um, apparently is, is relying on, on staff, so, so you, it's just a mistake. The, the nice thing about the satellite data is these are objective numbers. Correct. And the numbers over the last 18 years, are you familiar with the phrase, the pause? The answer is yes, and uh, essentially uh, we rest on our position. And, and to what you said, you are familiar with the pause, so to what does the phrase, the pause, refer? I'm sorry, you said you were familiar with that term, so I asked to, to what does it refer? Essentially, it's the slowing of global warming during the 40s, sir. During the 40s? Is it not the term that, that global warming alarmists have used to explain the inconvenient truth, to use a phrase popularized by former Vice President Al Gore, that the satellite data over the last 18 years demonstrate no significant warming whatsoever. Global warming alarmists call that the pause because the computer models say there should be dramatic warming, and yet the actual satellites taking the measurement don't show any significant warming. But Senator, 97% of the scientists concur and agree that there is global warming and anthropogenic impact with but, regards but to the global problem with that statistic that gets cited a lot is it's based on one bogus study. And, and indeed, your response, I, I, I would point yeah. to your response is quite striking. I asked about the science and the evidence, the actual data. We have satellites. They're measuring Correct. temperature. Th that should be relevant. And your answer was, pay no attention to your lying eyes and the numbers that the satellites show. Instead, listen to the scientists who are receiving massive grants who tell us do not debate the science. E Sir, this is the, one of the national pastimes in America, and while we're debating uh, what 97% of scientists have already settled, uh, the 3% that we, as they say, have invested in with regards to the carbon industry, you know, the, our planet is cooking and heating up and warming. So this is one of the reasons why... So, so hold regards, on a second. It, it is the Sierra Club's position that right now 
the earth is cooking up and heating and warming. Is, is that the Sierra Club? I mean, I just want to quote you and understand. I'm, I am saying I concur with 97% of, the, of our, of, as I say, of the world's scientists with regards to global warming and the anthropogenic effects of mankind with regards to climate. But, 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 but sir, would, would, you, would you answer the question, is it the Sierra Club's position, as you just testified, that the Earth is cooking up and heating and warming right now? Is, the, is that the Sierra Club's position? Global temperatures are on the rise, sir. And I assume the Sierra Club would, would issue a, a public retraction if confronted with the facts that the data are precisely as I described that over the last 18 years, there has been no significant warming. And indeed, that is why global warming alarmists invented the term the pause to explain what they call the pause in global warming because the data demonstrate what you just said, that the earth is, is cooking and warming is, is not backed up by the data. We are concurring with 97% of the scientists that absolutely say the opposite, sir. So if the data are contrary to your testimony, would the Sierra Club issue a retraction? Sir, we concur with the 97% scientific consensus with regards to global warming. I'd, li I'd like to, 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 to repeat, cer certainly in a moment, but I'd like to repeat the question and get an answer. If the data are contrary to your testimony, would the Sierra Club issue a retraction? We concur with 97% of the scientists that believe that the anthropogenic impacts of mankind with regards to global warming are true. So, so does that mean you're not willing to answer the question? We can concur with the preponderance of the evidence and the science at 97%. You're asking me if we take the 3% over the 97%. No, no I'm actually not asking about a survey among scientists. I'm asking about the objective data, the numbers. The, the scientists rely upon their objective data and their analysis, and 97% have concurred and conclude that global warming is indeed a fact. Uh, you know, Mr. Meyer, I, I, I find it striking that for a public policy organization that purports to focus exclusively on environmental issues, that you're not willing to tell this committee that you would issue a retraction if your <clears> testimony <throat> is objectively false under scientific data. That, that undermines the credibility of any organization if you will persist in a political position regardless of what the science shows, regardless of the facts, regardless of the evidence, and regardless of the data. That, that, that is not consistent, I would suggest, with sound public policy. Sir, you can pick whatever, choose and cherry pick whatever data you wish, but I concur with the 97% of scientists who concur that not global warming is a fact. Senator Coons. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, I just simply wanted to observe that we have a, a broadly representative and uh, qualified group of folks who were brought here to talk about overregulation and its impact on minority communities. And uh, I don't speak for the Sierra Club, obviously, but. Um, it is my hope and expectation that if you want to pursue that line of inquiry with them further, they'd be happy to. But my assumption is that we will continue to focus on the, the subject of the hearing at hand. And I, and I certainly concur with Senator Coons, and I would note that Mr. Mayor's written testimony and oral testimony focused in significant part on the Obama administration's new global warming regulations that could cost up to 10 million jobs, impose massive costs on American consumers. And so he argued that the data support causing millions of Americans to lose their jobs, including millions of African Americans and Hispanics. And I was pressing on what the data was that he was testifying about. And I, and I would note that that, that is not only relevant to his testimony, it was almost the entire subject of his testimony. Uh, and yet, apparently, the testimony is not based on the data or the evidence, or he is not prepared to discuss the data or evidence beyond asserting that, that, that we should, should take, the word, uh, uh, to take their word for it. With that, I want to thank all the witnesses for being here. Thank you for joining us. Uh, I, we will be keeping the hearing record open for an additional five business days, which means the record will be closed at the end of the business day on Tuesday, October 13th, 2015. Thank you very much to each of the witnesses. The hearing is adjourned. Thank you.